Hello everyone. Namaste. Welcome to Astral Luck. Thank you so much for logging into this channel and watching this video. I'm so glad you are here. Thank you so much. A lot of gratitude and I welcome you here. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And if you are a regular viewer, welcome once again. Thank you for logging in once again. And if you want to have a personal tarot or astrology reading, the website link is given below. You can log into the website and book a personal reading. So let's start with today's reading. What blessings are you attracting in next three months? So that is the question that I'm asking the cards here. And with that intention, let's start identify the cards for each pile the moment i stop speaking the top four cards would be the four piles let's start with that man holding a heart that's pile one caring connections pile two anxiety pile three And second chakra, Archangel Ariel, pile four. So, if you have identified your pile by now, that's wonderful. If not, pause the video and pick one of these four piles. And if you are watching this for your partner or something, then try to choose uh, two different piles. Or if you are interested in knowing what's happening with others, watch all the files. And if you are confused, then also watch all the files because you might get a lot of clues uh, from one particular pile which will resonate very strongly and that might be your pile. So let's start with pile one. Pile one. First of all, let's see this card itself, man holding a heart. You are attracting someone. If you are female, you are attracting someone for a relationship. If you are looking for one in terms of romance, this is very much uh, on the cards for you in next three months. But if you are not looking for a romantic relationship, then you might be attracting some male person in your life who is quite emotional about finding that uh, business connection with you or a friendship with you or any kind of association with you, any kind of uh, collaboration with you. They are quite emotional with about that and they are quite uh, overwhelming in terms of that emotions. That is something that you are attracting right now. And if you are a male, then you are obviously attracting this person for other kind of relationship, which is business or brotherhood or something like that where there's a lot of emotions involved here so let's see what the oracle has letting go so that is your first card then we have friendship so i already spoke about friendship because for a lot of you not everyone is always hunting for a man for a romantic relationship that is not possible at all so this is uh, someone who would come with a lot of friendly energy here so that is something that is very good for you and then we have coffin bear and dog Three signs for friendships. Draw a dog is also a very good indicator of friendship in the Norman cards. So I definitely have a very strong feeling that you are attracting a very strong lifelong friendship in next three months with a particular male in your life. Uh, next we have in tarot. Five of Wands. Okay, we have Seven of Cups in Reverse. I usually 
don't read cards in reverse, but this somehow ended up in the pile in reverse position. Again, three of up in reverse. Let me see if I have. No, I have not kept the pile. But something has happened. Again, I have a rule if we have three cards in reverse next to each other, they make them upright. So that is wonderful. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So if it was just seven of cups in reverse and it has come like that, I would have definitely, definitely uh, tried to read it in reverse but i'm glad that it's not in reverse then we have the devil here and last two cards here we have the death card and the knight of swords wonderful The letting go card and the coffin card is shouting very loudly and saying that you have to let go of few things in your life that are holding you back, that are keeping you restless and you know about them and you, you need to create space for new people to come in as new friends and for some of you this new friend would be almost like a motherly figure although this person is a male but this would be like a motherly figure would take care of your needs as a mother takes care of a child would understand you uh, in a very beautiful way so that is something that is very dominant based on this bear card here and that is telling me also this death card here is has a very huge tummy here which is also uh, uh showing up like a pregnant woman who is defeating all the challenges and transforming to give rebirth and rebirth to some kind of new relationship let go killing the devil inside you or the devil outside you some kind of person in your life who has to go some kind of habit that has to go something has to go you have been fighting with that for a very long time and you are not very happy uh, right now because of the exhaustion that you have been fighting you have been wait two seven cards here are very strongly showing that you have been fighting and waiting sorry three seven cards this is also seven sorry uh, a big change is coming in your life and this change is quite positive it's bringing a lot of friendship moon in the sign of cancer again uh, cancer is a sign which talks about motherly feelings. Moon also represents mother in Vedic astrology. Uh, so something related to a, a friendship which is more like a motherly instinct. Interesting that uh, this card has a man holding a heart and there was a card in the same deck, woman holding a card. That didn't show up for you. And only a man holding a card showed up for you. So what I'm seeing here is that this man would be very caring. Very caring for you. And you both will celebrate a lot in future. And this person will change your life. Uh, you have a very slow life right now. You uh, are fighting with your inner demons or external demons in your life and which has stagnated your life. You have, you're exhausted right now, but this man will turn around that for you in a very comfortable way. Uh, 
by comfortable way i'm saying that this man may challenge you very hardly very drastically but then this person will also uh, take care of the other side like okay i have challenged uh, my friend today uh, in very difficult ways so at the end of the day let me go and comfort my friend this person will have that kind of attitude and suddenly you will see that you are having a very strong momentum in your life moving forward in a certain direction and i want to see in which direction are you going you, you have four of wands and the four of pentacles interesting <laughs> it looks like that uh, by end of the three months you would have a very strong relationship with this person where you are celebrating uh this relationship very strongly and you are also acquiring a lot of uh resources because of this relationship because of uh, this person helping you to let go of your demons external or internal and you are fi uh, finding a lot of success in your life because of forward movement but what i'm also seeing here is that Uh, there is a sense of very strong attachment that you would want this person to serve you all the time and this person does you might get into a situation which is a warning that i'm giving you right now don't get into a situation where you would always want to control this person that this person cannot have his own personal life this person only keeps serving you all the time or help helping you all the time please get don't get into that kind of mode because that would uh, be miserable for both of you because you would get, be overly dependent on this person and this person would also feel frustrated after a certain period of time when uh, he would see that he has done his job and he would see that uh, he you are quite capable of handling things on your own then there should be a very strong uh, mutual friendship rather than uh, you clinging on to this person and i'm not telling you that you would do that there would be a tendency that you might want to do that and you have to overcome that tendency that's the whole point of doing a tarot reading where you know how to handle a certain kind of feeling a certain kind of situation in your life so Thank you so much for watching this video that's your uh, reading if you want to have a personal reading with me visit my website astrolog.com and don't forget to comment share like the video i'm looking forward to your comments bye bye and namaste hello pile 2 if you have chosen caring connections this is your reading let's start with this card itself you are attracting someone who is quite caring who is quite uh, supportive of you who has strong emotions for you but this can go in any direction caring connection could be in uh, a very business setup it could be in a very personal setup it could be in a very friendly setup i don't know but what i'm seeing here is that you are attracting people around you or you already have a lot of people around you who are suddenly turning around and becoming very caring for you and your uh, people who have been in close vicinity who possibly were ignoring you or possibly had never enough time with for you they did not have enough time for you and now they are uh, suddenly having some kind of uh feeling that they should take care of you so good you are attracting very positive energy so the very first card we have strength and this card is also associated with mars so i'm quite uh, in intrigued to see that caring nature with mars uh, are it's a strange combination i'll get into details of this but let's move on to the next card then we have sun and aquarius idealism then
then we have house we have cloud we have tree great and then we have ace of pentacles justice four of cups of wands we have justice okay you have justice twice okay very nice and you have two of pentacles page of wands and knight of interesting so first of all what i'm seeing here is that this caring connection is coming because you are finding your inner strength people are happy that you are able to dig in deep to find your inner strength now this card and this card is making connection to me after when i see all the other cards because in the past you were trying to find idealism and you were expecting others to ideally come and help you in any kind of situation that you were stuck in but people wanted to give you your own space your own want they wanted you to discover your own mechanism to fight a, a certain kind of situation to handle a certain kind of situation on your own they were quite uh, caring but that care, care was not demonstrated very openly in front of you the only reason was that they wanted to you to have stability the house and the tree card both talk about very strong stability and high growth especially the tree shows very high growth but a very slow one a sapling has to go through a hundred kind of tortures to become that tree because sometimes someone may overstep on a sapling sometimes the sapling may not get enough uh, sunlight or enough water but to become a tree it has to go through lot of troubles and it has to go through a period of time it cannot happen overnight and those troubles are represented by the cloud here and you always had the stability because uh, people around you were always caring for you were always a uh, feeling for you they had a very strong feeling for you but they wanted you to stand on your two feet not on the uh, support system of them because uh, if you are take oh, they do, did not want to be your walking stick they wanted you to walk on your own without any support that was the whole intention and now that you are finding your own strength they would come back and comfort you they would empathize with you with your journey they would uh, support you they would uh, come and celebrate your journey with you and they will Uh, give you new opportunities they want to give you better opportunities the two justice cards will try to uh, co coming together here Th this and this card two justice cards here is saying that they want to balance all that uh, has been going on because they have co constantly ignored you knowingly because they wanted you to grow but uh now they want to comp compensate that aspect very closely because this feel positive about you they feel very happy about you and now because you are ready you have found your strength they want to give you better opportunities in life so this is something that is coming very strongly for you again the four of cups is talking about those new opportunities coming for you and 
you would successfully use those opportunities but there is a certain kind of confusion going on in your mind because the opportunities are coming but you might have little anger you might have little confusion that these people were not there in the past they did not behave in the most idealistic way uh, because if i was in stress they were ideally they were supposed to come and give me the support i was not supposed to go and reflect deep inside and find my own inner strength which was so painful which was so time consuming but you are forgetting that if that would have not happened the way it has happened uh you would have never become a strong tree with very deep roots in realism idealism and realism are two very uh counterintuitive uh, terms for me in this context here right now and realism is very much necessary as idealism is necessary they ideally were there Uh, to help you when things were beyond your control you could always control things on your own and you could always handle things on your own and you always found your inner motivation by going through hell or by going through different ways of uh, self healing whatever it was you always found your way and now you are feeling that anger anxiety and that's why you are a little confused because they were never there for you and then the page of wants is saying that you are a kind of new intern who is so capable of taking up new opportunities in life that the people around you have no other choice but to come and share all the treasures with you so this is something that is very important for you right now uh, in next 3 months that you would have lot of treasures in your life you would have lot of new opportunities lot of new offers and you would be little confused you would be little spectacle not a uh, spectacle i don't know what i'm Uh, why i said spectacle <laughs> but you would be quite a, a center stage person because of all the success that you have suddenly found by end of january you will see that people are quite happy with your success people are quite uh, looking forward to future things future gains and everything for you i think i'll stop it uh, here uh, only thing is that you need to <laughs> accept that you are successful now that's the last message so if you want to have a personal reading with me please visit my website astrolog.com the link is given below and please share your comments please share your story with me i'll be very happy to know what's happening and please share the updates Uh, what happened in the next three months for you? Three to six months. They are saying that uh, you would start seeing a lot of opportunities coming on your way towards the end of January, and it will keep increasing the opportunities and the offers that would be coming on your way. With those will keep increasing till April or May. That's what they are saying. So I hope you find uh, all the good things. during that time period and don't forget to come and share those things with me because uh, it would be motivating for me it would be quite ha- i'll be quite happy to listen from you thank you so much bye bye namaste hello everyone welcome to pile 3 if you have chosen the card of anxiety this is your reading anxiety doesn't mean that you are inviting anxiety we don't know yet we'll see the cards and get into the details but anxiety definitely means that there's something that is bothering you or will bother you and uh, will have either it will get uh, if it's already bothering you 
the cards may reveal how it will get eliminated or it's going to prepare you for overcoming a kind of anxiety that may come up in next three months uh, and how you can eliminate it very easily because that's your fortune for next three months how to eliminate any kind of anxiety very easily so because it's the card of anxiety uh, i really want uh, the cards to be shuffled again only for your pile because i somehow feel that it's very important to have a very strong and fresh perspective on this on the energies of anxiety so very quickly just shuffling the cards it brings me to the energy that you are going through and help me to find what the universe wants to connect with me uh, and tell it to you so now the cards are shuffled let's see what do we have so you have two cards flow and play there's a lot of anxiety about different relationships that are there in your life and also uh, what i'm seeing here is that the there is some kind of suffocation of that inner child that wants to actually go out and play and uh, live life beautifully but then there is a call for that okay i need to be in a relationship okay i need to take some responsibility i need to earn some money to live life comfortably all of that is bothering you in next three months and that is the kind of anxiety that you are going through and you are suffering through the anxiety of whether to acknowledge your inner child or to take care of all the worldly expectations that people may have for, from you there is a caution here and the caution is about quarrels because you are divided within your own self uh, we have mercury in scorpio for you which is caution and also mars in uh, cancer you might get too emotional and self absorbed with your own emotion of being uh, that child and would expect that you would just do whatever you would like to do and people will follow and take care of rest of the things and that is where the quarrels may happen and you would uh, attract those people who are jealous of you to take advantage of this position right now because you are somewhere so vulnerable right now emotionally that people uh, who are jealous of you would try to create obstacles for you would try to uh, take advantage of you or would like uh, try to push things uh, far away for you if you are not careful what the cards are telling that this has happened a lot in the past and this will happen again if you are not cautious uh, take care of your responsibilities don't worry about the inner child because the inner child will suffer even more if you are throwing those tantrums and are trying to behave childish because people will uh, take advantage of that and create more suffering for you and uh, take away opportunities from you you really in the outer world try to be as responsible as possible but in the your free time try to spend as much as time as you can to nourish your inner child and plan for your future the hanged man okay this is quite interesting here but the card is telling that if you don't behave responsibly all the tensions and all the frustrations that uh, others have in their life they'll just push it or send it to you karmically or in any way or form which will delay things for you even further it's 
quite interesting. You have five of pentacles here, the magician, the seven of cups and queen of swords. The answer is very beautiful. It says that don't rely on anyone emotionally right now. Rely on your own magic. Move away from emotions. Yeah, your emotions might the transits are in such a way, especially Mars going retrogate uh, in the sky uh, till end of this year, you might feel to revisit all the failures and feel frustrated about it, feel emotional about it and go and take a, a, a fight with people who have betrayed you. But picking on those quarrels, what I'm seeing here is that you will invite more delays the hangman coming here so what the card is advising you rather than going and asking people for explanations and rather than going and people and asking for their help rather than going and spending time with other people rather getting frustrated with all the anxiety that how they have uh, created misery for you in the past move away from them Focus on yourself, focus on your magic, focus on your own law of attraction, focus on your own manifestation techniques and be very shrewd in giving your valuable time to anyone. At least in next three months, you really don't need to give time to any one of them in next three months because they really don't need uh, any of your time uh, and they... And don't waste your time asking for explanation or help from anyone because that is also not required. Because you are quite capable with the magician card here. It definitely says that you are quite capable. Then we have King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Empress, Ten of Wands. Six of Swords and Ace of Wands. This is quite clear. If you are acting like the Queen of Swords who is quite capable of cutting through all the BS in day-to-day -day life, what people are always sending towards you, you would become that King of Pentacles. You would become... Uh, the one who has all the resources, who has all the money, who has all the capabilities in life. If not, uh, you would be attacked from all the sides and will given, be given multiple uh, uh, ruptures, would create a lot of bad impressions for your own self and for others. And Nevertheless, what the cards are telling that the more you move away from the people, the people would want to come and uh, try to attack you and would try to uh, pull you in this mess uh, in next three months. What the cards are telling is that You, rather than focusing on these people who are trying to tie you, suffocate you and push all their burden on you, move away from them. If not physically, move away from them mentally to give birth to new ideas and new passions and new uh, suggestions. So for you, uh, the fortune is here to know the fact that people are going to attack you but for you is to keep themselves those people away from you and focus on yourself and you would be emotionally charged up in next uh, two months at least at least next two months while mass is in retrograde that you would go ahead and try to Ask for explanations from other people that why did you do so and so thing uh, and which caused me so much trouble and that is something that you should not do 
because it might create more frustration in your life. Uh, give me a moment. I'm motivated to bring some another group of cards here to see where you should focus because I don't want to use these cards here. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video, get another group of cards and then start the reading further or continue the reading, reading further. So they guided me to this card, Wisdom of the Oracle. So let's take the cards and shuffle them. And whenever I stop talking, I'll pick one card from the top, one card from the bottom of the deck, and one card somewhere in between the whole pile of decks uh, or cards. I don't know why I said whole pile of. Maybe I, I need to pick one card somewhere from whole, all those piles. That is what they are saying. So one final shuffle and now i stop card on the top is high higher power if you notice this card was trying to come out how wonderful is that and not for you and yang Actually, I closed my eyes and picked two cards randomly from that deck and it brings very clear understanding to me that you are trying to connect with the higher masculine or feminine energy right now and what the cards here are telling is that you are somewhere too much into connecting with some kind of uh, feminine energy right now. You are trying to connect with your feminine side and that is something that is not uh, good for you right now. You possibly have to focus more on the masculine side. The reason why I'm saying that is that the higher power is coming here which is also shakti power is also shakti which is the uh, feminine side and you are connecting with the feminine side very strongly uh, uh, you are trying to connect with that but your body your mind your soul is not prepared for that yet what the cards are telling right now is that the reason for all uh, the miseries that you are attracting right now is that you are aiming too high. You are aiming too high, but your physical reality, your mental reality, and your soul reality is not prepared to achieve that aim right now. For that, you need to first fulfill your desires that you want, always wanted to achieve. Because... Uh, you try to achieve a lot of desires in your life that were not achievable in for some or other karmic reasons. So you one day decided that anyhow I'm not able to achieve that. Let me focus on the divine feminine, the most powerful energy and let me leave everything behind and just focus on that. And the divine feminine energy is saying that I will not accept you Till the time you don't fulfill all your desires, which is physical desire, your uh, relationship desire, your financial desires to achieve it all that you wanted to achieve. Till the time you don't achieve all of that, I'm not going to accept you. You need to focus on the masculine side. Masculine side is some, uh, and I wanted to bring out this meaning here. The masculine principle of movement and creative act activity the power to make things happen taking action so 
it's talking about taking action and power to make things happen something that you have not achieved in the past go out chase after things that you have not achieved in the past and work hard to achieve them you really don't have to focus on the divine feminine right now but you have to focus on the divine masculine right now i know a lot of uh, females watch this video and they are uh, truly uh, the embodiment of feminine energy but uh, right now uh, rather than nurturing and caring for others is the time for you to take care of yourself and fulfilling your desires and go out and fulfilling your desires that's what this is uh, saying and the very first time when i said desire uh, because uh, the time on my camera was 16 16 so if it has some meaning for you i just wanted to mention that because i started recording this as a fresh video for pile 3 and this is what has uh, shown up so 16 16 is also 1 and 6 1 is sun and 6 is venus so it is uh, and adding together is uh, k2 the south node 7 uh, uh, which is k2 and if you add 16 16 1 uh, 6 1 6 1 6 it adds up to 5 which is mercury so putting all these energies together k2 or the south node of the moon is talking about your past desires that were unfulfilled is something that you have to go and fulfill it right now where venus comes and helps you to give that uh, practical advice and mercury helps you to network and communicate with the right set of people and sun is that uh, enthusiasm that is coming here to take you forward uh, to fulfilling your desires so right now uh, for next 3 months rather than complaining to people you need to go ahead and fulfill your desires on your own because you have the magic so wow that was very profound i really did not expect that and uh, i i somehow find it very happy uh, so, uh, i i don't know i don't have words and now i'm jumbling words because i i didn't expect this to turn around in this way but i'm thankful i'm happy and uh, please give me your feedback because i know emotionally you are feeling very low with this card here but uh, if you were attracted here and if you survive to watch the, this complete long video you know what i'm talking about and you know now what to do Thank you so much. Bye bye and namaste. And if you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astrolog. dot com. The link is given below. Hello, pile four. If you have chosen the second chakra, this reading is for you, Archangel Ariel. Before I start the reading, I just wanted to shuffle all the cards because the last pile was a very heavy energy and. i don't want that energy to be associated with your pile so i'm just shuffling the cards and i also like to connect with you live while shuffling the cards because it helps me to pick the right energies i i never used to do that but recently uh i somehow felt that this is the right way i came across one of a youtuber tarot card reader white white feather tarot who is very popular i'm nowhere close to her in popularity but i really liked her style so i thought that i will just use this energy uh, exchange with my live audience who are watching here uh, as and when it is required not every time because it is not practical but yeah so first of all seeing the second chakra itself is telling me that 
there is some kind of new energy that wants to burst out and you want to try something very big, something very creative in your life and you really want to do that very quickly. So let's see where it's taking you. So you have dialogue with Goddess Saraswati and then you have dreams and here I somehow see it's Okay, I somehow feel this is Goddess Bhuvneshwari. It's not written here. Either uh, because the iconography of uh, Goddess Bhuvneshwari and Goddess Lalita Tripura Sundari is very similar. Uh, it's either one of them. But yeah, uh, I somehow feel this is Goddess Bhuvneshwari. And it says that because it's uh, the second chakra with your own knowledge, with your own creative Activity, these two cards together because Saraswati is your knowledge, Goddess Saraswati is your creativity and Goddess Bhuvneshwari is the ability to create. You can create whatever you are trying to create on a constructive side for your life where you don't depend on others, where you don't uh, rely on others. You are creating something on your own for your own self, for your own growth, for your own uh, creativity that is very much on the cards in the next three months and this is going to bring a lot of harmony in your life this is the card of harmony sun in uh, libra and in libra so which is going to bring a lot of harmony i usually have this cheat sheet because I learned everything from the Vedic perspective and I don't remember these symbols. <laughs> so, in Vedic perspective, and these cards were designed from a Western astrology point of view. So, now you have flowers, you have sun, and fox. So, there are two things that are coming up here for you. There's a lot of harmony that you are creating for yourself. You are creating a lot of goals and aspirations. There's a lot of blessing on your way. You are creating new things for you. But then there are a lot of people who are also having an evil eye towards you. And you definitely don't want to uh, give them an advantage. You just want to focus on your own self. So here we have Goddess. Uh, Shakti here which is telling that it is nice for you to focus on your own inner thought process rather than getting influenced by people around you because there are a lot of uh, fox energy a lot of people who would see that you are going in a certain direction let me take it, take advantage of this uh, person's energy or they would also want to connect with you and pull you down and take your position, whatever it is, uh, they, uh, the cards are telling that follow your own intuition, follow your own sense of direction, don't get influenced by others and also uh, don't push yourself into repeating those uh, things that you know are spoiling your future uh, or some kind of habits that you really don't uh see that that is helping you just uh pull them out of your life we have three of pentacles nine of wands nine of pentacles and five of swords okay this is perfect and then let me see what the other tarot card has to say six of pentacles Four of Swords, King of Wands, and Six of which piece? Which one is this? Six of Cups. Okay. And finally, one more card. Three of Swords. Who is getting slaughtered here? Seven of Cups.
the clarification here. Okay, nice. Four of Wands. It's telling that uh, you need to have healthy boundaries with your friends and people with whom you work. And focus on your own long-term goals single-mindedly. Uh, don't focus on how you are helping others. Don't focus on how your success will bring success to them. That is something that will happen over a period of time. You are part and parcel of the team. But if you are not successful, in, then you would lose respect for your own self. You will lose your self-confidence. So focus on yourself uh, right now. Others will fall in place. In that process, this fox energy will feel neglected and this will try to come and confront you. But that is fine. Let them confront uh, with you. Uh, you are in such a kind of mental status that you would have answers which would be very harsh, which would be very rude, but it would be rea reality. And with giving them minor uh, statements with a lo lot of sugar coating, uh, my minor reality uh, checks with a lot of sugar coating will help them to realize that they have been exploiting you for a very long time and pushing you to lose your self respect. And now you have realized that you definitely don't want to. Be on this phase where you just uh, allow them to exploit you. You don't want to lose your self-respect any more. You want to have your dignity back in your life. You are working hard for bringing dignity back to your life. And when they observe that no more uh, trickery is going to help them to win over you and nothing is going to stop you from achieving your big dreams and your uh, knowledge creation is going to work very quickly then what is going to happen is that uh, they will try to mend up all the relationships with you and you for some reason uh, are more focused on your own future and that is uh, definitely breaking their heart but sooner or later when you have all the success, you are celebrating that. And I, I, I don't know what is happening with the relationships here. They are not showing because any of those relationships, uh, will you survive them? Because I, uh, they were exploiting you anyhow. So I don't know if you want to survive them or not. Any or nothing is being shown here, but it's shown that the people who were exploiting you will definitely have a break of heart because you are celebrating your life because you are focusing on your own future, because you are creating your own uh, future and you are bringing your harmony, you are bringing a lot of bless blessings in your life, you are having a fresh start in your life. Only piece of warning is that follow your own intuition, follow your own uh, constructive habits, do not listen to others and do not uh, allow your bad habits to pull you down because you yourself are quite capable of pulling yourself down that it's quite visible here in this card so that's your reading pile four uh, you are getting a lot of blessings you're bringing a lot of harmony you're fulfilling a lot of dreams and you are able to uh, deliver a lot of things which is bringing a lot of self-satisfaction to you Thank you so much. Bye-bye and namaste. Welcome. And if you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astraluck.com and we'll take it from there. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.